let's graph the equation 2x plus y equals 1. And we'll do this with a table of values. So we want to get y by itself. We need to isolate y in this equation. Probably the easiest thing to do is add a negative 2x to both sides. When we do that, we have negative 2x and 2x. That cancels out. So we have y equals 1 minus 2x. Now we can put values in for x and see what value we'll get for y. Let's do that. So we're going to choose some values for x that will give us values for y, and we want them to fit on the graph here, on the graph paper we're using. You can choose any numbers, but if you choose numbers that fit on the graph paper, it makes life a lot easier. Let's just say 1, 0, and negative 1. So if we put 1 in for x, 1 minus negative 2 times 1, that gives us a negative 1. If we put 0 in for x, 1 minus negative 2 times 0 is 0, so 1 minus 0 is just 1. And if we put a negative 1 in for x, negative 2 times negative 1, that's just 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So these are the points we'll graph for the equation y equals 1 minus 2x, which originally was 2x plus y equals 1. Same thing. So we have 1 for x and negative 1 for y. 1 negative 1. We have 0 for x and 1 for y. And then we have negative 1 for x and 3, 1, 2, 3, for y. So we can see that these are all in a line. You could just use two values, but if you use three, you'll know that you're correct. If you make a mistake, it'll be apparent. Let's put a line through this. And then we'll put arrows to show it goes to infinity. We could put other numbers in for x, and they would give us values of y that show up on this line here. So this is our equation for y equals 1 minus 2x and 2x plus y equals 1, either way. Note that you could also use slope-intercept formula to figure out the graph for y equals 1 minus 2x. And that will give you the same answer as using the table of values. This is Dr. B with the graph for 2x plus y equals 1, or you could write it y equals 1 minus 2x. Either way, thanks for watching.